Welcome back pest collectors. Today's video is going to be all about pumpkin pest dispensers. Since Halloween is tomorrow, I thought this might be a really great video to put out because I have a lot of pumpkin pests and they're all sitting right here in front of me. And I like pumpkin pests a lot, so I tend to buy probably more than most people have in their collection. So I thought this might be a fun video to make and share with you every pumpkin Pez dispenser that I have. Before I share any Pez with you, I just want to go over the fact that every time Pez makes a change to the mold, we get a different variation letter tacked on to the like name of the dispenser. So you're going to hear me talk about pumpkin A, B, C, D, E, and so forth. So hopefully that makes sense. So every time there's a new letter on there, that means that there's a different mold. These are all called pumpkin pests. Sometimes pests calls these jack-o'-lanterns, but I'm just gonna call them all pumpkins today. <laughs> just to make it easy. If you hear me say pumpkin A and then pumpkin B, those are two different pumpkin designs. So first off, we have a pumpkin A pest dispenser. And as you can see, this one has no feet <laughs> because this one was released back in 1981 which I would call this a vintage pest dispenser because there are no feet on the bottom here. And this pumpkin pest dispenser has the die cut face, which I think is really cool. <laughs> and you will see different variations on these. And I don't know if it's just cause like the sun has faded them over time, but you'll see different ones with, you know, like slightly different pumpkin head colors and slightly different die cut face colors, which I do have a couple here. I can show you the differences that you might find. So these pumpkin A Pez dispensers are a pretty fun variation that you can collect for a vintage Pez that doesn't cost you much. I mean, one of these might cost you, I don't know, $20, $25. They're pretty inexpensive and you can find these pretty easily if you want to find them and add them to your Pez collection. But check out these other ones. I have to go all the way over here because it's going to go all the way down here. <laughs> and I do have a lot of different package variations I'm going to be showing you as well because I like to collect these on cards and in bags when I can. But most of my variations I'm going to show you today are cards because my bag pez aren't as easy to find. And a lot of them are just poly bags. So I don't think those are as fun to look at as card designs are. So let me show you another die cut here. So here's another pumpkin A with the die cut face. So when I say die cut face, that means the face is like inserted in there. So that's what you call a die cut, which I think is pretty neat. So it looks like it's cut out and you can see the black behind it. So it actually looks like a carved jack-o'-lantern. I think this might be one that Pez calls a jack-o'-lantern actually. And then eventually we get the same pumpkin A and this one has feet. So it should be the same head mold, it's just this one has feet. Which you should know from watching my last video that Pez started making these feet back in 1987. They made these for quite some time, I guess, before they actually started adding the feet. And then eventually we get another variation. So let me show you that one. So moving on to Pumpkin B, and this one was released in 1991. So we had 10 years of this Pumpkin A with the die cut face. I think that's why you can find so many of these for sale, because they made those for 10 years. That's a long time. <laughs> so Pez made this Pumpkin B pest dispenser for another seven years, which seems like a really long time as well. These are pretty easy to find. So this is just the generic, you know, another orange head and green stem, you know, looks a lot like this one, but it's more updated. So by the 90s, Pez is modernized, you know, it's technology, which I think this one does look really nice. I do like the size of this head because on the next one it gets a lot larger, but it looks a lot like this, but also we get a lot of different color variations. So let's check that one out because this next one I think is really, really cool. So here we go. In 1998, Pez came out with this pumpkin C Pez dispenser. And yeah, it looks a lot like pumpkin B, but the head is bigger. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This one's pumpkin B and this one's pumpkin C. See how the heads are quite a bit different there? <laughs> the design of them looks a lot the same, a little different. Even has like the same teeth and the little eyes and the nose. This is like the generic pumpkin that you carve when you're a kid and that's all you can carve. <laughs> or like the triangle eyes, triangle nose, and then a couple little teeth in the mouth. I love it. <laughs> So basically these are all orange and green stem up until now. The green stems vary in color, which I think is pretty neat. This one I just showed you is a lot lighter than the pumpkin bee here. But the next one I'm going to show you, this is when Pez I think started to get a lot more fun because they started adding more glow in the dark. So here you go. Here's another pumpkin seed pest dispenser. You see how it's the same head, but the stem is a glow in the dark white color, which I think looks really nice. 
that's one of the reasons I think I really like these pumpkin pez is that none of these here glow in the dark but a lot of them going forward there's a glow in the dark variation for them which I think makes it a lot more fun so check this one out this is another pumpkin seed pest dispenser and see how the head is the glow in the dark white material the stem is a really nice neon orange I like this one a lot <laughs> <laughs> Love the glow in the dark and the neon orange. And then the little green on top here just looks so nice. And if you thought that one was cool, wait till I show you the next two. <laughs> so here we go. Here's another pumpkin seed pest dispenser. And I believe this is the clear version. And this also has the same neon orange stem that I just showed you on the last one here. So the variation on this one is the crystal head. But check out this next one even. <laughs> so here's another pumpkin seed and this one has a blue crystal head. And it's like a really light blue. It's not like a super strong blue crystal, but it's just enough that you can tell it's blue. And this one's on a hot pink stem, which I love the color on this. So it's like a blue pumpkin on a hot pink stem. I don't know what Pez was thinking when they made this one, but I like it. Because <laughs> so far up until this blue one, they've all just been, you know, green and orange, like a pumpkin. So all of a sudden they're like, oh, a pumpkin should be blue. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't question them. I just love it. And then in 2003, we get a pumpkin deep pez dispenser. And I really like this one a lot because this one has the glow in the dark stem and the little glow in the dark on top here and the little glow in the dark in the little mouth area and the eyes. So this one looks really great when you turn off the lights. And I do have a bunch of these pumpkin deep pez dispensers, but they weren't made by Pez. So I'm going to show you those, I think, after I show you all the ones that Pez made officially. Because the other ones are made, you know, on request by another Pez collector or Pez dealer. So I'm just going to show you first all the Pez dispensers that were made officially by Pez. So in 2012, Pez puts out the Pumpkin E Pez dispenser. And this one is totally different than any of the other pumpkins we've seen so far. But it does remind me a lot of Pumpkin A because the face has that like die cut look without being the three piece die cut that we get on this one. And also this one's really nice because it does have the glow in the dark stem but I guess after Pez made this they might have been saying like why didn't we just make a regular pumpkin? I don't know. <laughs> because in 2016 they came out with another variation of this pumpkin E and this is what they came out with so it looks more like all these other pumpkin Pez that we've gotten before. So this one is a really nice looking pumpkin. It just kind of looks like a classic pumpkin I guess because check out this next variation because this one's silly. It just looks like a crazy happy pumpkin and this is pumpkin F and on this one the face is actually just printed on. And again, the head is just orange and then the green stem and the green little topper. <laughs> I like it. This one just looks so happy and it's pretty cute, I guess. So Pez made this one for two years because in 2020, we got this pumpkin Pez dispenser and this is like the angry version of the one I just showed you. It's the same pumpkin mold, just has a different design printed on it. <laughs> this one's great. So if this was like a bug Pez, this last one would have been the grasshopper and this one would have been the beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But this one's on a black stem and we haven't seen a black stem yet, which I think looks really nice. The black stem I think kind of gives it like, oh, I'm a scary pumpkin look to it. I like it a lot. Also in 2020, Pez came out with the crystal headed pumpkin, which is really, really nice. Here you go. Here's a closer look at it. This is the Pez USA card version. And as you can see, it comes with the candy corn Pez at the bottom there, <laughs> which is a fun little, I think, addition to this. But these were limited edition and they did sell out pretty quick on Pez.com. So these cost a lot more to find nowadays. But Pez International also sold this, which I thought was really nice. But their card variation is a little different. Here you go. This is the 2020 Pez International version of that same crystal pumpkin I showed you. But as you can see, this one comes with lemon, orange, and strawberry candy. It doesn't come with the candy corn flavor which I thought was an extra special touch, I think, for Pez USA to do. But I do not have this one open, so you just have to look at it on card for now. So this year in 2022, you'll remember when I went shopping at Joann's for this brand new pumpkin. Seems like a couple months ago now. <laughs> I'll link that video down below here in the description, or you can click on it up here as well. But I did find this new, I guess this is another one that Pez calls a jack-o'-lantern. This one's pretty nice, it's the same pumpkin F as the last two I showed you, or I guess actually the last three because the crystal one's not in the lineup here. But this year we got the yellow stem and the orange head, 
So they did switch it up a little bit. And the design on this one is actually pretty cute. So I like the yellow stem on this one. I'm glad that they went with another like totally different color than just orange and green. <laughs> so next I'm going to show you some pumpkins that I don't think Pez technically made. These were all made by Sylvia Belmeyer. She used to run the Lens Pez Gathering. So I think these are super creative and super fun. So whenever I see these for sale and I have a little extra cash, I'm like, I'm going to buy those <laughs> because I don't have them all yet, but I do have a lot of them and I really like these a lot. So I try to add them to my collection whenever I can. And then after I show you these, I'm going to go ahead and show you the card variations of all the Pez that I have out here right now because I do have a lot of different cards from over the years, which I think are a lot of fun to look at. So first up is a Pumpkin D and this one was released in 2008. We're printed on the stem there, it says www.lensgathering.com. And I love this one because it's the blue crystal. And see the difference in the blues? The newest one I'm showing you, see how much darker blue and more rich of a blue it is? It just looks so nice. And also besides just having the lens gathering printed on here, this stem is white and it glows in the dark. And it also matches the little pumpkin stem up here that's glowing in the dark and then behind the eyes and the mouth, just like this pumpkin D. So for the stem is a lot whiter. It's not so yellowed. I don't know if you can tell a difference here on the camera, but they're pretty different. I also have this yellow crystal pumpkin, and this one has nothing printed on it. <laughs> but it's the same pumpkin D. It's just nothing printed on it. I don't know why, but it looks nice. And then we're going to go back to some non-crystal Pez. And this one is a yellow pumpkin. And I believe the stem in the mouth is the glow in the dark, just like the D Pez dispenser here. On the stem there it says lensgathering.com charity. So I believe that there was only a hundred of each of these made and there's another one I'm going to show you. So this is the yellow variation. And the stem here is a glow-in-the-dark orange, which I think is super cool. I love this one. And here's another one like the one I just showed you. It says lensgathering.com charity on it. But it has a red pumpkin head, which I think this is super nice too. You don't really see a lot of Pez with like this red color like this, especially a pumpkin, which I think is super unique, which I think looks really nice. Now I say I think that there were only 100 of these made, but I'm not even sure because the ones I could find that are 100 made, they look like they're crystal heads. And some reason these are solid heads on top of these stems, but I think there should be maybe another one of these. Maybe it's green. I couldn't find much on these online. So if you do know, let me know in the comments what ones I'm missing because I like to add I guess if I am missing one of these but I remember buying these I think from Sylvia back at a Pez convention I think I bought all these from her except for this one I just got recently um, so I know that these are you know legit but I don't know much about them and then I have four more that I don't see much about these online either <laughs> I love this one this is a green crystal head on a neon pink stem which it looks so nice. And this one has no feet. They must have used stems that, you know, didn't have feet. So it might have been from a, a Valentine's heart or something. But it looks super nice. And I say it's probably from a Valentine's heart or something because all these I'm showing you now from this blue one on, like I said, these were created by Sylvia. Pez probably worked with her and made these crystals and these colored pumpkins, but I'm pretty sure she assembled the head and the stem together. So I think that's why I'm getting like different, you know, variations on some of these and what I do see online. Because I think basically she could make up whatever she wanted, which I think is kind of fun, but it's also like, ooh, what's out there? But that makes it kind of hard to figure out like how many were made and what's the story behind them, you know, the reasons to these. Because I think probably some of them, like these say charity, you know, there must have been different giveaways for the lens gathering in different ways. Because if you ever go to a pest convention or they call it a gathering over there, you know, whenever you sign up for like a registration packet, you get a Pez and then there's always like the charity Pez and there's always like giveaways or ways you can get other like really exclusive Pez that the convention has that year. So I think that's, you know, the reasons why we have so many different variations here. Still three more of these. <laughs> this is a green crystal on the green stem. This one has no feet. So this stem was probably like the ones I just got. The psychedelic flowers are on this same green stem. And the psychedelic eyes. I point up there because they're sitting. <laughs> I can't point. Wait. <laughs> they're sitting up here. <laughs> so. I really like this all green combination. 
And then there's a yellow crystal. This is on a dark purple stem. Kind of nice that looks. I wonder what Pez dark purple comes on. It must be a heart. Oh, I think there's dark purple hearts. It's like the Valentine's hearts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's purple ones. So that's probably from that. And then the last one I have here is the red crystal pumpkin. This one's on a red stem that matches really nicely. And I'm guessing that this red stem is probably from a heart as well. But I love these like all one colored ones. <laughs> so if I didn't buy these from Sylvia herself, I did buy them from, you know, well-known Pez collectors or Pez dealers that have been dealing and collecting Pez for longer than I have. So I know that they are legit variations. I really love these and I want to add some more of these to my collection, but they do get pretty pricey. Like, I'm pretty sure I just spent $50 on this pumpkin. So you'll probably spend more than $50 on each of these, which gets pretty pricey really fast. So I have to be, you know, picky and choosy on what Pez I add to my collection. Otherwise, you guys would just get, you know, pumpkin Pez videos all day. And if you do want to see that, let me know. <laughs> I'll buy pumpkin Pez over and over. So next up, let me show you the carded Pez and a couple bagged Pez as well. I think these are pretty neat. If I can grab them, they're all over here. First up here is a pumpkin A and this is in a poly bag. And this is a no foot one. You probably saw me unbox this. I bought this off eBay just a few months ago, I think. So I thought this one was really, really cool. I like the fact how it's like a no foot and it comes in a poly bag. It is turned around. It should be, it should be facing this way, but I just don't want to mess it up to move it around, even though it probably might be easy to do, but I just don't want to mess anything up, so I just kind of left it backwards here. And if that's not cool enough for you, <laughs> I did also get this same pumpkin Apez. It's on a card. You probably saw me unbox this one as well. I think the same time I bought that pumpkin in the poly bag. I think I got all these on eBay at the same time from the same person. But this one's so cool. It also has the Toys R Us sticker still on it. So this was 87 cents. It doesn't have a year on it. <laughs> but had it been from, what, 1981 to 1991. So sometime in there, Pez sold these cards. I don't have any pumpkin bees on cards or in bags that I can show you. I probably have them in bags. I just need to like get my bags organized because I just have a huge bit of Pez in bags. So they're not super organized in any way. I'm just keeping them you know, for some day, if I do, you know, open them up 20 years from now, and I'm like, oh, look at all these bag pets. I think it'd be really fun. But I do have a bunch of pumpkin seeds on cards. So check out this card. It's pretty neat. It has a tree and a witch. And this one has three packs of candy. So sometime between 1998 and 2003, Pez came out with this card at Pez. You see how it's a Target exclusive and it says two times the candy packs? It has six candy packs in there. And I used to like these because I like the card variations, but I used to always go, oh man, I gotta go to Target and make sure I pick these up. <laughs> so I used to collect, you know, more carded Pez than I do nowadays. Nowadays I just usually buy like what's new just because I am running out of room. But I do think this is pretty cool because I do call it a Target value pack. So I guess if you like the candy, then I don't know, this would be fun if you were going to open it, but I just bought it to collect it. <laughs> Here's another carded variation for the pumpkin C. This is another Target value pack one. See how it has six packs of Pez candy. So cool. The graphics on this one are really nice. They're real dark and there's like a little haunted house with like a little skeleton guy and some bats flying around. I like the graphic on this card like a lot. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have any pumpkin D's either, which is strangely weird. <laughs> Unless I forgot them in the other room. It's weird. I don't know. But let's move on. Oh, wait, I did find some pumpkin D Pez dispensers. I thought it was really weird that I couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting right behind my iPad here. I put them back there because I shot my Princess Pez video that you should have watched yesterday. So I had them hiding back there. I was like, I, I thought I had some of these. <laughs> so let's check these out real quick. There's only four of them here. So here you go. This is a Pumpkin D Pez dispenser. And this is on just the normal car that you would get at any store. Probably not Target. <laughs> because at Target you'd get this two times the candy pack one. See how it has six packs of candy in there? And then here's another pumpkin D on the card. This is another two times the candy pack. This one's pretty cool. I don't know if we've seen this one. This one has a bat and a spooky castle and a black cat and a spooky black tree. <laughs> but this is a Target value pack one. So that's pretty neat. I like the graphic on this one a lot. It seems like I like the ones that have the darker cards because it also came on this card and we saw this card earlier as well. I should mention that when you collect the holiday Pez, like Christmas, Easter, Halloween, whenever you go to the store every year, 
you know, they don't always come out with new pest dispensers, but the card graphics are usually different every year, as far as I can remember. So if you like to collect the cards like I do, just because of the graphics, then, you know, every year you go to the store to buy these, you might want to, you know, look and see if there are different, because 100% of the time I think that they are. So, you know, you'll have to buy the new set every year just to get the new cards. Which I think is a pretty fun way to collect, I don't know, because holiday pets are pretty easy to find and they're pretty inexpensive. So it builds a pretty fast and I think pretty cool pets collection pretty fast. <laughs> so I do have Pumpkin Ease on card. So remember this one probably came out around 2016. This one is uh, says Trick or Treat. It's pretty cute, it has some pumpkins and a witch on it. But I also have the two times the candy on this one as well. There you go. <laughs> The backs of these are really cool because on the back there it says Pez Visitor Center, come visit us in person. This one doesn't say Target exclusive on it. I don't remember if I got this at Target, but there might have been other stores that had these but then they weren't like Target exclusives or maybe Target just stopped putting their name on here. I can't remember but it's still two times the candy pack. They also have a Pumpkin F that comes on a card and this one's probably from 2018. And on there it says seasonal candy flavor and as you can see down here it comes with candy corn pez. You get one pack of candy corn pez and if I'm remembering right I think candy corn might have been released in 2018. Let me know in the comments below if you do know what year candy corn was released. I don't really keep up on like when the flavors were released for the candy. There's <laughs> just so much to remember but if you know let me know. But this card is super cute. It has a witch and an owl, a pumpkin, and some more pumpkins down here. So it has really nice graphics as well. I like this one. And also Pest started putting the series on the back of the cards. So that's very helpful if you're out shopping for these. I don't know why they didn't do that a long time ago. I remember always shopping for Pez going, you know, what's in the series? Why don't they put it on the back? <laughs> Especially like like a long time ago, like when the internet was just getting started for Pez collectors or even before that. Seems like it would have been really helpful. And I have one more pumpkin pez to show you today. It's a Funko Pop Pez. This one's from A Nightmare Before Christmas and it's a Pumpkin King. <laughs> Super cool. I saw this one sitting on my shelf and I was like, I have to grab that and include it in the pumpkin video. Now I need to go watch this movie because I haven't watched it in quite some time and I've been wanting to watch it. So I think now would be a really great time to watch the movie. But I like this pez a lot. It looks really nice. Well, these are all the pumpkin pez that I have in my collection. Now, I didn't just buy these overnight. I've been collecting pez for over 25 years now. So this is a slow collection process. It just adds up over time. <laughs> so if you're just starting collecting pez, you know, don't become overwhelmed by all these different variations. I always tell people just to buy what you like and eventually you know, you'll find some series that you really like. Like I like these pumpkins or I like pandas. You kind of focus on those and you buy more and more of those as time goes. And then you find another series that you like and then you buy some of those then you buy more and more of those and then they just add up over time. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of these and I don't even have all of them. I do have some pumpkin pez on my wish list. There's also some of these Lens Gathering pumpkin pez. Here's a picture here. But they look like the pumpkin E here. And instead of having the solid color, they're crystal and they have the white stems. I think they're pretty cool. And I also want to see about getting more of these with the stem here. That say lensgathering.com on them. So this one has the blue crystal, but there's also, I think, a red crystal, a green crystal, a yellow crystal. And there's also, I think, I guess you call it brown. It looks kind of brown crystal, which is very unique. <laughs> so I think to get the rest of those would be really great in my collection. So those are some of the pumpkin pets I still want to add to my pets collection in the near future, hopefully, <laughs> if I can find them. Sometimes it's just about what I can find for sale. Like I get on Facebook and someone's selling something and I'm like, oh, that's easy. Or, you know, you get on eBay and you search something and you kind of get lucky. But sometimes it's kind of hard to find stuff that's more unique, like these lens gathering pumpkins. So you just have to kind of wait it out and eventually you'll find them. They'll pop up for sale. Everything always does. <laughs> Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to learn more about Pez collecting or new releases or vintage or what's coming soon in the Pez world, just make sure you hit that subscribe button because I make three videos every week, plus usually a shorter two. And my videos are released Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. 
So that's a lot of Pezzy videos, so hopefully you'll learn something from me. <laughs> and if you want to help support the channel, I did set up a buy me a coffee, but I call it buy me a pest dispenser. I'll put the link down below in the description so you can check that out if you want to help support my channel. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you Tuesday. Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nobody else